Bye. Stop. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about this little guy. And if it's worth your 60 bucks. 70? Oh no, you can get it on sale pretty cheap. This is the Lenovo. Yes, Kathy. This is the Lenovo Smart Clock. I'm Carbs, and that's Kathy. Let's get into the review. So to start, the interface, very simple, very easy. You'll see that, you know, you can adjust so many different things, the on, off, alarms, good morning, if it's gonna do the good morning feature. It's 10, 13, you can just automatically summon it. Now in Richmond, it's Stop. You have very tactile buttons. It gets very loud. Play some music. Shall I still play that on Living Room Assistant? This device. Playing some music on Spotify. I have no clue where it's playing right now. So, it's very loud, but it's also very tinny. It's not the best speaker, but if you pair it with something like, let's say, the Nest Audio. Well, that's where it gets really good, in my opinion, because the Nest Audio doesn't go too high and it doesn't go too low. So when you pair it with a device that has some decent bass, but doesn't have all the highs, you get a genuinely good experience for a room audio. That being said, I don't know if this is for everybody, because if you're a college student, this is probably all you need for your bed. But then again, if you're a college student, why not just get, let's say, the Nest Audio for a hundred bucks, get full dorm sound, and you know, bug your neighbors while you're at it. But honestly, if you just have this thing by your bedside, on your desk, you're going to have the best audio experience if you just want a little bit of ambient music. You can't go full control into your Spotify list. That's not what this is for. You can play your music directly from here with a press of a button. Play some music on Spotify. You can also do the good morning routines, the and even set up alarms straight from the device. It has different clock faces, it has a night light and you can control your room's light with a flick of a button. Now let me set my alarm back before I forget. There is another quick settings for the brightness of the device and honestly I don't know why anybody would choose the lowest setting because I had the hardest time getting the device back after I set it to that lowest setting. We'll go get turn up brightness on bedroom smart clock. Sorry, it looks like the bedroom TV. So I just leave it in auto brightness. Sometimes it's a little finicky. It does have like a, a motion detect sensor, not really a full camera. You have a physical switch for the mic is muted. Muting the mic. The mic's back on. You also have a USB port. I'm not sure if that's for audio. There's also just an overall nice feel to this. It has that cloth, homey feel, kind of like the Nest Audio does. If you haven't seen one, I recommend going to Best Buy. 
checking it out and giving it a feel. As for my overall thoughts on this, definitely give it a shot and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Here's some nice B-roll if we got that far. But I want to thank you guys before my battery runs out for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Give it a thumbs up, you know, whatever. If you didn't like this review, give it a thumbs down. Tell me what I did wrong. I'm just trying to improve these. So, yeah, let's, let's get back to this.